we got the Funko My Little Pony, uh, not made by um, Hasbro, who actually owns the intellectual property. Doctor Who's, which as far as I know is a combination of uh, a Doctor Who and a pony, sort of. This is the uh, red uh, tie version. There's also a green tie. You can see the little picture right there. It's got a green tie. They also did a uh, translucent version, which uh, I've got pictures and video on here somewhere. Show you the box real quick. By Funko. And it's got the Hasbro logo down there. And this is like a little collector's lawn. They're non articulated figures, uh, they're kind of chunky. Um, Decent paint and sculpt and all that, but they're just kind of, you know, they're vinyl collectibles. They're part of that urban uh, vinyl uh, thing that's going on right now. Uh, Funko also does the uh, pop line of stuff. Um, so I'll uh, pop them out of the package there and we'll check them out. All right, and here's the Doctor Who's uh, out of the uh, packaging there. Um, he's supposed to resemble David Tennant, uh, according to a lot of fan stuff. I didn't really find anything, um, talking about official, uh, information, really. Uh, a lot, a lot of fan speculation, though. Um, he was first seen, uh, 10th of December, uh, 2010, uh, 24th of December, uh, 2010. Um, thought to look like, uh, David Tennant there due to his, uh, spiky hair, even though David Tennant stuff was, was done, was done forwards. Um... He uh, is also referred to as the sole survivor of Gallop Frey, instead of the regular old Gallop Frey from Doctor Who. Um, and he's also appeared as a Pegasus. Um, he was in one of the uh, the competition episode, I forgot what it was called, but he had wings. Uh, not a brony, by the way. Just bear with me. Um, also, uh, as well as uh, this 10th uh, Doctor, there's also the uh, appearance of the... Uh, third fifth and possibly 11th uh so there may be three more um the fifth doctor uh one was blue with blonde hair and kind of looked like the uh well the fifth doctor what's his name davidson and uh some people are also saying that could be the master so if you're in doctor who you kind of know what i'm talking about um if you're just in the ponies then hey look it up it's kind of cool um but i pretty much got sucked into this line because my daughter likes derpy hooves and so i got one for her and me both, because I thought it was cool. That was, that was a cool idea. Plus the original one that uh, Hasbro had as an exclusive at Comic Con two years ago. Um, it was super popular and all that, and it just had me uh, curious. And then after watching some of uh, Muffins or Bubbles or whatever they ended up deciding to call her, I think it's Muffins. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, but back to him. Um, I'm gonna say it's not a, not a True toy, it's just a vinyl collectible, just like it says. No articulation. You know, there's been a lot of um, uh, quality control issues with this guy, and I'm looking on him right now, and there's like, I think I got most of it out, but there was like chunks of stuff kind of stuck in here on his tail, um, so I don't know what was going on with that. But, you know, if you can see these in, I don't know who carries them, I don't know if a Hot Topic or who carries these at all in the store, but, you know, take a look at them if you can. Um, uh, and see, uh, you know, make sure that everything look, looks straight. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to send it back if it's not to your uh, liking. I think he's going for like around thirteen dollars now. This is my second uh, Doctor Who's. I did end up getting a glittery one, which I will show later, or maybe I showed it before. I'm not really sure. I haven't edited this together yet, obviously. Um, but yeah, I had the glittery uh, transparent one, and I ended up uh, selling it and getting a regular one. Um, yeah, kind of cool. Something to put on the desk, or like I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep him in the box for right now. My daughter will probably end up with him at some point, but for right now, he's a part of my little collection there with my little Doctor Who stuff, so. Um, you know, this is kind of like a really um, specific collector's line kind of thing, so if you're not really into ponies or, like me, into the mashup stuff like this, then I would probably skip it. I mean, for 13 bucks, I think you can get uh, get the regular ponies, you know, for your kids or whatever. Um, I don't think the male ponies for your young bronies are as easy to find. I know there's what Rainbow Dash, isn't that a boy? I don't know. It's been a while since I watched uh, uh, Friendship is Magic or whatever. But you know what I mean. Like, there's not as many boys as there are girls. So, eh, you know, as an alternate uh, to the regular Hasbro line, why not try out Funko? It's a, it's a chunky little thing. I mean, you can bounce it across the table or whatever, but, you know. 
But there you go. I, I'll give him probably about a 7 out of 10. I think he could have been done better, but he was pretty much what I was expecting since I have had some of the um, urban vinyl stuff before. Um, so if you don't have one, that's okay. You don't have to get one. But I did anyway. I got two, actually. Alright, another new review of Dr. Hooves here. This is the uh, translucent version. Got lighting's all crazy right now because I'm kind of doing this on the fly. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's clear and sparkly. Otherwise, um, aside from the body, the rest of the paint is identical um, to the regular one, which is right here. So he's like tannish brown, whatever. And yeah, kind of accidentally sold this one, kind of. I mean, I made making some money, but uh, yeah, didn't really expect him to sell for that much. But hey, whatever. Hey, more toys for me later. Um, so yeah, I'll. Uh, it's kind of like bonus footage there from my uh, regular uh, Doctor Who's review. So yeah, here's the um, here's the variant. All right, just want to show off my. Uh, Dr. Hooves here. We'll get to the regular one later. But right now we just look at the um, exclusive variant here. It's uh, translucent and sparkly. Has the same paint apps as the regular one. And oddly enough, I totally got him by accident. I ordered him through Amazon and wanted a regular Dr. Hooves. And this got sent to me. And that's fine because I'm sure I can sell it uh, and then buy more toys. So it's pretty cool. These are not like toys for like little kids. They're like a collectible. They're cool to set on the shelf. And say you have one, you know, whatever. So, you know, I'm not a brony, but I do have you know, a d couple of Doctor Hooves and a uh, and a Derpy Hooves, and that's about the extent of my uh, of my uh, my little pony uh, fandom there. But he looks pretty cool. Has a lot of glitter. Um, it's in his mane and everything. Um, these things, the quality control is somewhat iffy on these. Like you can see, he's got a little crusty something in there. But you know, for the most part, you know, you wipe them down with a dry towel. And because like I've had some like residue on there, and some of it's been like colored like on some of the white parts and stuff, like uh, on Derpy, uh, she had some smudges on her. I don't know what it was. It looked like old old uh, used motor oil, but it wiped right off. So you just be aware. These things are like ten, twelve bucks. Um, I don't think they make as many of these as the regular um, Hasbro retail versions, um, and I don't think they they make regular versions like like uh, Doctor Who's here. But I uh, thought it looked kind of cool. It has a little uh, um, hourglass there. So, yep, it's more of a Hoovian than a uh, Brony. Uh, I like it. It's pretty cool. I mean, for 10 12 bucks. So, can't beat it, I guess, um, for, a couple, for an official mashup figure. So, there you go. The uh, exclusive, I'm not sure even the exclusive, I guess variant. Variant Dr. Hooves from Funko. I don't care how cute you say he is. I ain't riding him. It ain't gonna happen.